let's go. I believe we left off on the Princess Peach segment, right before chapter 4, at the end of chapter 3. Here we are. Building. Help me get more good energy. Still only taking care of that Mario character. Sorry about Owen because he's tougher. <laughs> we the excellence must open the thousand year door first. Oh, rest assured, I definitely will. We prepared a weapon, I will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, I rapidly lose my patience. Leave to us, sire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not. At least you called her lovely. I'm not sure if I like the little circles they vanish in the remake as much as just the plain circles in the original. Where's Peach's board? Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. Maybe we don't care about it anymore. Oh my, that must be TEC again. TEC. I wish Peach could just, like, jump. That'd be just funny. Hello, you weird computer. You always call me in without warning. What is it this time? I apologize, I'd like you to know where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. Contain specific information that brought on an issue to my attention. You are the main computer. I'm able to know things that are not injured in my CPU. This is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about the issue. But even if I go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to my room. That's true, but you'll find the soldier's room one floor up. Contain a soldier's uniform and change into it. You'll see Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? She's like, you can't hide this beauty. <laughs> yep, you gotta do it. I want you to ask. She's like, want me to find out the ultra secret recipe? Does it speak? Well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. Well, never mind. Princess Peach, I have no interest in what the woman has to say. Just keep her locked in her room, but don't ever, ever treat her roughly. Why in the world are we keeping her here? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place. 
legendary treasure to conquer the world. Conquer the world, legendary treasure. <laughs> what are you blathering about? Something is on about you. Ha, uh, I did the salute. That was unnerving. Talk about creepy. I wonder if it has to do with collecting the crystal stars. Uh, probably. Otherwise, why would they be doing it? They just want it for like a nice knickknack in the corner. Pink dress, why to ever wear something different? I better get back quickly. It'd be funny if like another one walked into the uh, locker room and was like, Princess Peach, this is my fantasy. You terrible machine, so your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course, after all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world, how could you? Princess Peach, let me ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. She's like, nobody loves everything, but I love the good parts. There's also joy. The crystal stars help you conquer the world, and what's this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this plan for world domination. Let me use your com communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. And she's like, dear Mario, this computer is weird as heck. It wants me to it wants me to cosplay as an X knot. One second, someone's asked me a question. Message has been sent. You have had a busy day. Go back to your room. Okay. Peach is just like, what is with this weird computer? Good night, Princess Peach. And the weird computer is like, what is with this princess? I love this. I'm recording this on Memorial Day, which probably dates this episode because they come out pretty slow on the YouTube channel. But I love that I have the day off and HP playing Paper Mario wrapped up in a blanket. Those are peenies. I'm bad at all. You're scaring this big guy in bad breath, monster. Don't worry, Tuni. Your big brother is here. We'll get through this. Be gone.
so now you must leave. I understand. If you must be lost, we won't delay you. If you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars, I also want to tell you Rockhawk can't confide dirty anymore. And the way it takes some diamonds and win the title fair and square. I'm never ever gonna lose again. Or when my proxy rock back. Listen to you, honey. Thanks for everything, man. Oh, here's mine. Let's go. You're the nicest dude I ever met. I can use it, I got you back. I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. Keep his back, baby. It's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario. Oh, I got this other picture. I'm gonna take it away. Let's go. Go inside to return to ring. Come back. I'll keep your slot shot open. There are tons of fans. I'd absolutely love to see you come back. That's so awesome. How marvelous. Three of the crystal stars. Make haste for a rogue port. Yep. There's gotta be a way to get the shine sprite in the bullet's pit. There's gotta be a way. How to get the shine sprite outside the glitz pit. Invisible block. Use your hammer or coops field ability directly under the shine sprite. Oh, that's it. Wow. I can't believe I didn't try that. I tried like everything else. I was like, can I do this? Can I do this? Wow, we are low on gear. We've probably done everything here, right? Are there any other shine sprites or anything up here? Let's, let's put all secrets. That one just posted two days ago, so let's see. Is there anything cool? New gold metal badge? What's that? Complete the title log, get all badges, and all zesty. Oh, I don't care about that. I just care about... ...getting cool stuff. Giant Sprites found on the second floor. Okay, cool, we've already done it. And we already got those, so uh, there wasn't a lot of... Cool stuff here. Oh, uh, there's some shine sprites we missed, but I don't care too much about those right now. We'll go back for them later if we really need them. We can skip the ride back sequence. So next, if memory serves me, we gotta go to the dark area for good turn to pigs and stuff. Wow, that Goomba has a 1 million coin jumpy. What did he do? There's Mario, I'm sure it's something terrible. These things, the Echnots, they're planning to take control of the world. Taking the crystal stars. Wish to rule the world, refuse to bow to megalomaniacs. That's right, Flurry. Oh, Luigi story time. I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at Pump Belly Village recently. Got my hands dirty on that one, I'll tell you what. It's pretty wild, bro. I wanna hear what happened. Well, like I said, it's a long story, but here it goes. Once we made landfall on this brutal continent, we made Pump Belly Village. We got there, immediately noticed something was wrong. Learned the mayor of town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. He said the beast demanded to offer up his own daughter as a sacrifice. I offered myself up to God instead. 
I got some more sacrifices to be dressed up as a bride, so I got all dolled up. Like one hot sacrifice looks so good. I pulled the foes and got it to hit him there. It's kind of rough fighting that gal, but I managed to fall on the chase though. I finally found his uh, and the snake had a secondary head on its tail. Talk about skin. I think you real quick when I came to a to strike the both heads. I reared up Fang's Baird and that moment I definitely won his luck. His gaping mouth smashed into one another and vanished in the long smoke. A shiny plate fell down in the spot where his head had been coiled. Another compass piece. I set it and appointed the east to circuit break island. I guess I was about to leave the mayor after the staying mayor was gone. I thought about it, she showed it to you. Well, we ended up speaking out the next morning. I mean, the spell of Princess Declare from the Chancellor of King. And when the marvelous cup was activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It's so beautiful. It's Princess Declare's voice. Princess Declare, I think. Oh, it's on that day. We set sail at the Jew Town, and somehow we managed to get back to Royal Court and hearing. Want to hear about something else? Now, now let's see what actually happened. Hi guys, I'm Jerry. I'm little mom from Plum Belly Village. Back in the year. I sounds down, but she would be too if you see Luigi's big bridal sent show. He's so clumsy in heels. He's like a wobbly force of nature, falling down everywhere and knocking things over, tumbling into people. I have an obligation to tag along and clear the area of Luigi so much scares of Stiletto. Somebody asked me to herald of the coming to wobbly apocalypse. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. Oh, let's see what home we got. <laughs> Increase jump power by one, but lose your hammer. No, I don't care about that. Increase stack power by five, and Mario only has HP le one HP left. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the shop. I'd like to have my own shop someday. It'd be nice. Good for you. Two fire flowers. One sleepy sheep. Regular mushrooms suck now, so there's no point. Does the other shop have anything better? Why are you sad, little man? We'd save you. They censored her to have cat ears in the US version and she had bunny ears in the Japanese version. And some people really cared about it. I'm like, why? They're both they're both cute. Let the boo cosplay however it wants to. Clumsy crush a lot, I love that. Yep. Oh, it's just a regular mushroom guy. What does this super mushroom make? A regular mushroom fry. Okay, so it's useless. I mean, technically it's useful, but like, come on. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of coins. Well, who'd want to come in here? Me, because you took my stuff. 
Give me my coins back. Well, you probably shouldn't tell me, buddy. The chair has seen better days. I know once you get like a bomb or something, you can do other things with, like, getting Miss Mouse. I want to get Miss Mouse. Oh, 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 oh. Shazubi? Shazubi. Once you've cleared chapter four. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. I didn't think we could yet. I'm gonna save some shine sprites. Uh, you know, actually, no. Let's do coops. For people like Wedge Power or Flurry, Flurry's one of the worst partners. Flurry has a very decent ability to be tanky. Flurry is an amazing tank, and sometimes you need a tank. Thanks to Richard Story. That's locked. We can go back here now, though, right? Yeah. He's a geologist. Or was a geologist. I like being a geologist, man. Geologist cool. Mr. Trump. You know Don Piante? Back when I still had pole in this town, I used to go to Glitzville all the time. If the boss has your back, I'm not saying nothing, but I still hate you with the intensity of a thousand suns. Proud I said something. You don't have much here, but make yourselves at home if you want. You look like you have money. You got booze, you got food, you got a roof over your head. And it looks like he has friends, too. Friendship is the most important ship of all.
It's amazing. That's amazing. So need a Star point. That's cool, we're uncovering a bunch of secrets. Oh boy, is this the pit? Okay. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna go right over to Frankly. And then we're gonna have to get to wherever the next place is. It's probably the next place. That's why they need that much air charger. Well. Bring you up to speed. The great cataclysm is the treasure. The treasure is destruction. Okay, cool. So where do we go next, man? I like town. <laughs> Here's to be a pipe pilot town. Somewhere underneath the west part. Oh, okay.
Cool, we haven't missed any tablets. Hope you're doing well. Coop's gone. I haven't been doing very well. I got lonely. I got to Coop's house. I smell that Coop smell. Ew. I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me so sad. This place is starting to smell more like your dad. Coopley, he has his own smell and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hookfield's gut. It's disgusting. Double gross. I've grossed myself out. Oh, and since he's going to be my dad too someday, I better get used to that smell, huh? What am I writing? I'm embarrassed, but I'm sending this anyway. Love you, Coopy Coop. Ew. Rope for today. Old Toad settles in. It's... Come to light that after selling in uh, life at her town, Toadsworth has often been spotted in the company of Zesty, the notoriously finicky Zesty surprise, all when she was heard saying, What's wrong with spending a little time with my total toes? Possibly such a comment opens, has opened our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Drop a word or go. Focus of attention? Pungent's Great Tree Shop. It's easygoing management. Money and customers are fickle, so easy come, easy go, you know? He fully understands why the shop isn't busier too. We're well hidden, but like any good treasure, we're worth searching for. He even has a special offer for RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shop points. Cooking recipes, spicy soup, fire flour, and you're done. Perfect meal for my kids to cook. Editor's note. We've been working all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Look forward to the hot news in issue 3 coming soon. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. Nita. there now rejected you. Okay. That's interesting. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Everybody on Twitch, stay right here. We're gonna keep going. But for everybody on YouTube, I'll see my YouTube peeps in the next episode.